Good morning guys. I'm up early to put um, together a meal in the crock pot today. So I am going to do a uh, pork roast in the crock pot. So let's go ahead and um, introduce our ingredients. What I have here is just a little over a six pound um, Boston butt pork roast. I have a couple tablespoons of mustard. I probably won't use all of that. I have two small onions that I've chopped up. I have two, four, six, seven cloves of garlic um, that I'm gonna put in there. I have some butter. I have two stalks of celery that I've chopped up and I have a bay leaf in the bowl here. I have some parsley, some salt, some pepper, some seasoned salt, some apple cider vinegar, some cayenne pepper, and some applesauce that I may or may not use. We'll see as we go along. So um, let's go ahead and start putting this together. Okay, so we're at the stove now, and I have liberally seasoned my uh, pork roast with seasoned salt and black pepper and on up I did that on all sides and now I'm gonna sear it in a little bit of canola oil on all sides for about two or three minutes on each side so that means the front the back and each side okay so I've seared off my um uh, my, my roast and it's nice and brown and delicious looking and I'll show that to you in just a few minutes I seared it off on all six sides and now what I'm gonna do uh, I took my pan off the heat so I won't get overheated while I'm talking but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, saute my um, onions and my celery for just a couple minutes just so they get softened up Okay, so I've been sauteing my um, onions and celery in the same pan that I seared my pork roast in to get all those bits up on the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar and continue to stir up those bits off the brown, the, uh, the brown bits off the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to do this for about four or five minutes. Okay, so I've got my... Um, onion and celery mixture all uh, sauteed up for about five minutes now and I'm gonna just stick this on top of my beautiful can you see my beautiful uh, let me zoom in no I guess you can see that pretty well um, I'm gonna stick this on top of my um, in the crock pot on top of my uh, browned up not cooked pork butt. I'm going to mostly mix this on the sides. And I'm going to use the applesauce because I just think it'll give it an extra something special. And I'm going to put the applesauce on top. And I'm just doing this by, I'm just guessing. Cause I'm just making this up as a go. And I've got a couple of cups of apple cider vinegar that I'm going to pour in. I'm going to pour, uh, put in my whole garlic cloves. I'm just going to throw them in there. I'm not going to crush them up or anything like that. And my bay leaf. I'm going to stick the lid on this and I'm going to put it on low and let it go for about six hours and I'll check back with you in about six hours. Okay, so here is my pork roast after six and a half hours. It looks amazing. Um, I'm going to make um, a pan sauce out of the juice that's here in the um, crock pot. And so after I make the pan sauce, I'll, um, I'll get back with you when I start making the pan sauce and then we'll taste and we'll wrap this up. 
Okay, so here's the, the pork roast that I showed you initially after it was done. And I told you that I was going to go and make a pan sauce. But then I tasted the sauce that it cooked in. And it, it's not really a sauce. You know, I was going to add some flour to it and kind of make it like a gravy. But it tastes so magnificent that I decided to just add some cayenne pepper and some mustard. And it's, it's just so good like that. So it's kind of like just a little glaze or a juice that I'm going to put over it. So I'm going to put it on a plate and I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so here I've sliced it all up and it looks delicious to me. And I'm going to give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. The apple, the apple guys, the apple juice, I mean the, uh, you have the apple juice and the apple sauce, goes so well with pork, the celery, mm, the onions, and it's so moist, and I put a little bit of cayenne in there, so there's a little kick. And I think the, the key with cooking on the crock pot, especially if you don't have liquid covering it, is to flip it over halfway through. And I did do that. So at around the three hour point, I flipped it over halfway. And so it's really moist. Do this one. Hey, I'm going to check out now. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. Bye-bye.